Manny has terminal cancer and has reached the stage where every treatment option has been exhausted. But desperate to prolong her life for the sake of her husband and young daughter, she joined trials of a drug called Cadsila. Two and a half years later, it's still working. I, I, I have hope now. It's given me hope. I just want to be here for my daughter and see her grow up and be part of her life. So in that sense, it is, it is a miracle drug. And I didn't have that future prior to this drug. Um, there were no options left for me. Cadsila targets a particular form of breast cancer and could help around 1,500 women each year. On average, it would prolong their lives by six months more than alternative treatment. But the makers, Roche, have set the price at £5,900 for one month's supply. That's more than double an option the NHS currently provides, Herceptin with chemotherapy, which costs £2,800 a month. And so NICE, which decides treatment cost effectiveness, says without some kind of discount from Roche, the NHS can't afford Cadsila. When we compare it in terms of cost effectiveness with other treatments, it's well beyond anything that NICE would routinely recommend. So we are disappointed that the manufacturer has not offered what's described as a patient access scheme, which we might have expected them to have done in the circumstances. Roche says the cost reflects the years of work it took to devise a completely new way of attacking breast cancer. But the problem of price is a wider one. Since 2011, NICE has blocked the NHS using seven other similar drugs. We do have intense discussions with the government on affordability issues to make sure the NHS can afford to pay for new medicines coming through. And we work closely and in partnership with them to make sure that happens. Katsila has bought precious time for Manny to spend with her husband and family. Now a price for that time must be negotiated if others are to benefit as she has. Catherine Jones, Five News.